after repeatedly losing every fight in the last few weeks solo cash cups, I did what any normal human being would do. I spent the entire week W keying solo arena to try- No, I didn't. I just played the solo cash cup without any weapons. But you know me, I always come prepared. So with my 39 minutes of practice in two arena games, I came up with the perfect strategy. I knew it would be essential to get a kinetic blade every single game. So I had an initial plan to rotate into Kenjutsu Crossing and grab one in the storm. But it made much more sense just to land there, grab one and run away. But in game one, I already came across a problem. A player had started to loot the looting path that I was going to go down to and was directly in front of me. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay. You don't think he saw me. Without any weapons, I have to avoid every single fight. So in order to get my materials, and in particular my metal, my plan was to harvest as much as I could around the outskirts of the map in the zone, use the aquatic warrior reality augment to swim faster to go up to either Slappy Shores or Lonely Lab to get camp materials and loot a little bit more, and then play the game out from there. Things were going swimmingly. I was sitting in this bush, top 36, where somehow this guy spots me. Bye bye. Bye bye again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What am I building right now? No! Okay, I don't know what the hell I was doing in that fight, but the game plan worked prior to that. The problem was I've now spent 17 minutes to only get four points. I had to do better in the second game to avoid players. After grabbing my kinetic blade, I dashed away to grab a bunch of extra loot, the metal and the shields because there was no one contesting this spot. The plan was going swimmingly until someone who had heard me kinetic blading started to chase me with a DMR. Luckily, I'd harvested enough materials at this boat and he apparently had his eyes closed as he couldn't hit a single bullet, so I was able to get away. The problem was this left me with minimal materials. Since the zone had pulled east, there were players all over the shoreline, meaning I have to go all the way up to Lonely Labs to even start my looting path. However, there was a bug that I found that allowed me to do this faster. With Aquatic Warrior, not only is your speed increased, your pickaxing speed is also increased, so I can now harvest these boys much quicker. After somehow not finding a single med kit in this entire POI, I managed to find some along the shoreline on my rotation back down south. And despite this shaky start, I managed to get back into the zone with really good loot. With the Rift Island spawning to the east side of the map, I initially thought I would use this rift to traverse down the dead side, keeping away from everyone, but ultimately ended up landing in the center of zone since it was free. What the f- Since I have the Aquatic Warrior perk and I can swim quickly, I decided not to use the Kinetic Blades here as it would attract other players to my location. And since I knew this launch pad location, I was easily able to get myself into the center of the 6th zone. Then, once that zone started to open up more, I fired myself deeper into Mega City into the dead side of the zone so I could re-harvest a bunch of materials away from other players. Then, when the 7th zone popped, I knew exactly where dead side would be on this north side and got the freeze rotate of my lifetime into the edge of the next zone. I've covered this exact strategy in the 6th and 7th zones in my cuisine video mechanics of the pros video and in a short that I did for Mr. Savage. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch some of those after this video, of course. Again, understanding dead side was really important here because I knew that the east side of this hill was completely free outside of this one player. So I just slowly followed him all the way around since I knew it'd be us two, giving me a good position going into the moving zones. Hit the little dead side kinetic blade. Oh, that's not very nice. Thrilling gameplay. Hello there, buddy. I better block. Oh! Okay, oh. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. I've got to waste a splash now. Oh, storm sickness. Okay. Let's see, I don't know if I can pop this. I should probably use my mid mist. Oh, uh, coming. Oh, maybe not. Oh, edit world record. Best Harper. I'm basically Seti right now. Oh, Seti would do that as well. Ooh! Shot me through the wall, but all good. <laughs> None of this is mine. Just believe your Danish and you hold the walls. That's how it works. Okay, I was wrong. Getting a ninth year sucks because I just missed out on a lot of the big placement points. So game three was going to be make or break. You know how they start by now. Grab the kinetic blade, run, grab some barrels, grab some more barrels, grab some materials, grab some loot, swim around the east side of the map. And so far, the best game we've had yet. Until, ooh, someone there. Casually swim away. Oh, no, that's not good. Ah, oh, you seen me as well. What's the chances there's going to be someone out here? Oh, I'm just going to run. Bro, there's someone else. Oh, no. <laughs> what do I do? Bro, there's two of them out here. What are the chances of this? I'll go away. Bye-bye. I'm building like a drone. Bye-bye. Leave me alone. Oh, I got like nothing left. 
Oh my god, the other guy's here. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh my god, how did I survive? After a mild cardiac arrest, I somehow luckily managed to stumble across this ODM gear, which allowed me to get all the way up to Slappy and re-harvest some materials. And again, since it was a relatively dead game, I managed to get all the way across the map to Citadel, re-harvest, luckily pick up some extra loot from here in the 6th and 7th zones, do the exact same strategy I talked about in the previous game, and then it was time for the moving zones. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, don't DMCA me, Spider-Man. What am I doing? Alright, we're chilling. Alright, pulls up. Oh. Find a good angle. That'll do. Nice. No, not so nice. Oh, a misclick. Ching, ching. <laughs> this ain't going well. Oh. This could be going better. Let's go ahead. Leave me alone. Storm. Oh, storm six is good. Hi, right, good layer. We're chilling. Oh no! Oh, that's the rats falling all the way down. No mats! Gotta make a play! Someone's in here! GG! GG! Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't get it! There's no mats. Save me. Save me! No! Tenth again! With 50 minutes of the tournament left, I only had 31 points, but it was around 67 to qualify, so I wasn't actually on bad pace here, but I would need two great games in order to qualify. What the f- Oh, I've died to Aquaman, man. Where'd he come from? I would need two great games to qualify. All right, never it. Here we go. I gotta go this way, I think. I'm okay taking zone ticks. If I had a gun right now... Bang, bang, bang! Good box. Oh. Oh, oh I'm doing this again. Oh, this is dicey. Okay, I'm just lucky no one hit me. Oh. Whee! Oh. I've had a gun right now! Ah! Oh. oh, thanks for the shield anyway. Uphill. Go to the right. Beautiful. Beautiful again. I'm not taking height, buddy. Don't worry about me. Hold the walls since I'm in wood. I can't even see where this next zone goes. This way, okay, cool. Hello. Oh, hit my map! Okay. Oh, oh, no. Grief him, grief him. Oh, I'm choking. I'm choking, boys. God tarp. I just placed a couple floors. Oh, the mantle. I have to go for a play. Nobody's got no ammo. Here we go, here we go. No! A third, I'll take it. I need to get in the next game, though. I ended that game on 60 points, and with only two minutes left in the queue, I have to get into a next one, or it's over for me. Yay. Now, the main problem with the last-minute queues like this is these games are incredibly stacked with Storm Surge. And how am I going to get Storm Surge damage without a weapon? I guess it's not actually that difficult. Another benefit of Aquatic Warriors, after losing some HP in the mid game, rather than wasting some of the mini potions I have here, I can either swim or I can just box up in the water and regain HP. <laughs> Hilariously, when this storm surge threshold pops up, I'm actually 70 above, so somehow there's players in this lobby who have done zero damage when I, with no weapons, have done more than them. Unfortunately, I choke here. I should have just waited to go in the backside of storm and rotated later. I had tons of white kills and the storm was only still ticking for one damage, but I jumped forward accidentally had icy slides, build in wood, and then die in a frustrating way through my floor. Hilariously, this is the best solo cash cup this season, and I didn't even use any weapons. If you've noticed, I have particularly strange binds, and you can click this video right here to learn if you should switch to optimal binds.